After nearly one year of tireless effort, Cuban scientists have four vaccines against COVID-19 in development, and they're confident the island's population will benefit from their protection this year. By the end of the first quarter, we could already be immunizing the people on an emergency use, and it is very likely that we will have all the population immunized in 2021. An agreement with Iran announced last week will see one of the vaccine candidates expand its faith-free clinical trials into that Islamic Republic. Iran is another country weighted by U.S. sanctions, and those sanctions are complicating Cuba's ability to ramp up mass vaccine production here. This kind of production requires lots of money. Cuban government and scientists have counted on some funds for clinical tests. But when we go to a large-scale production, we face the restrictions of the U.S. trade embargo against our willingness. Scientists also said that traditional providers of pharmaceutical raw materials have denied sales to Cuba fearing U.S. sanctions. Cuba has developed a solid vaccine research and production infrastructure. Over 4 million annual doses of simple or combined vaccines protect Cubans against 13 diseases, while new projects are underway. Since the 1960s, Cubans have been immunized against polio, measles and mumps, mainly affecting children. And they also count on vaccines against meningitis, hepatitis B, lung cancer and other conditions. The development of domestic COVID-19 vaccines and the upcoming immunization program have made Cubans hopeful about a return to normality. This will be the definitive solution, backed with a responsible behavior of people meeting the measures adopted by the sanitary authorities. What we need is the vaccination now. It will allow us to stabilize our country's economy and everyday life. Many Cubans are counting on vaccination as the only certain route to eliminating COVID-19, especially as the country is seeing a new flare-up of infections. In all, the disease has sickened over 15,000 citizens and claimed more than 150 lives since last March.